This is the rolling resistance comparison of 20 inch tyres for 2024. Keen viewers of the channel will have observed that I did a 349mm or 16 and 1 and 3 8 tyre test a couple of years ago. Uh, this uh, testing follows the same protocols only with more tyres, uh, less tube selections to work through a greater number of tyres. And for those of you who have been asking me for this for a while, um, uh, it's only been two years. I told you I'd get to it. If you're new to the channel or haven't seen my first rolling resistance video, I recommend jumping across to that. The link's in the description below. It goes through the testing protocols, which I'm going to skim over a little bit today. But I will say, just as a reminder, that these are comparative studies, not calibrated. In other words, the watt numbers that are given are relative to the machine and can only be compared with each other. We estimate the machine at somewhere between 20 and 25 watts consumption, but we don't know that for sure. So take these numbers with a grain of salt. However, the comparisons between tyres uh, should be fairly scientific and give you an idea of uh, which tyres perform the best in a rolling resistance scenario. The test wheel today will be a 26 mm alloy rim dual wall. Uh, this is the rim actually used on the Green Speed Magnum trike. It has uh, great roundness and stiffness, which we think um, will help us with consistency in our results. It also has quite a firm bead lock uh, to make sure that we get um, a nice round tyre once we inflate it. As I said, we have quite a huge selection of tyres here. My decision in, in choosing what I have chosen here is to give a selection of what I would call fast or performance or time trial or racing tyres. Uh, intermediate tyres which are good for commuting and uh, for fast riders and trail tyres which are tyres which you'd predominantly use on, on bike trails. Uh, the idea being that if you're not primarily choosing a tyre for its speed, you can at least take an interest in its uh, rolling resistance and maybe choose the best rolling resistance tyre to still give you the properties you're seeking. The tyres we are running with today are the Michelin Blue 44mm, Michelin Blue 35mm, Schwabe 1 Pro TT, uh, Schwabe 1 Pro, Schwabe Kojak, Mission Solar Car tyre, which we've got our hands on. Uh, a Tioga Comp pull here, again, for, I guess, we've got our hands on for nostalgic sake to compare some of the older tyres no longer available. Uh, Green Speed Scorcher 120. Green Speed Scorcher 2.1. It's a bigger tyre that they offer. Duro Easy Ride. Continental Ride Tour Extra, Continental Contact, Continental Contact Urban, Contact Speed, Schwabe Big Apple, Schwabe Big Ben Plus, Schwabe Road Cruiser, Schwabe Marathon Plus, and Schwabe Marathon Plus uh, 1.35. So my testing got off to a little bit of a shaky start. It turns out that both of the Schwabe marathons actually exceeded my machine's uh, cutoff limit of about 100 watts. Uh, so uh, we're going to omit these from the testing and just put them in the data sheet as 100 watts plus. Needless to say, if you're after a performance tyre, the Schwabe marathon plus is probably not a good choice. And given that it says e-bike ready on the side of it, that might be some kind of a clue. This is the Schwabe Road Cruiser, 27 degrees at 97 watts. The Schwabe Big Ben, 20, 
8 degrees. It's uh, 80 watts. Schwabi, Big Apple 2 inch. Degrees, 29 degrees, 93 watts. The Hero Easy Rider. Twenty-eight degrees, 80 watts. Continental Ride Tour. Five degrees, 91 watts, 92 watts, continental contact, 28 degrees, 95 watts, continental contact urban, 25 degrees, 75 watts, continental contact speed, 26, 27 degrees, 97 watts. Green speed score chart 2.2. 2. 26 degrees. 87 watts. Green speed score chart 120. Twenty-five degrees. Seventy watts. Twenty-year-old Toyota Comp Pool. Twenty-eight degrees. Ninety-three watts. Michelin Eco Racer Radial. 26 degrees. 47 watts. I had about four goes at trying to get this tire to run straight on the bead and as you saw in the previous shot, it was running pretty rough, but it didn't seem to affect the drag. But you can probably take from this that the number that I'm reporting today is the worst number for this tire, not the best. Um, pretty amazing tire, not sure if it's still available, um, but let's just be clear, it achieves this number by having basically no rubber on the running surface. So, pretty sketchy tire for anything other than an absolute speed run, I would say. Warby Kojak 20 inch. Seven degrees, 84 watts, Schwabby 1, 29 degrees, 90 watts, Schwabby Pro 1, 27 degrees, 90 watts. Schwalbe 1 Pro is also proved troublesome to bead. I've had about four goes, can't quite get it up onto the bead and balanced. So um, I've tried warming it up and a whole bunch of things. So I'm running with the best I can do and we'll see what we get. The Schwalbe 1 Pro TT. 32 degrees. 77 watts. Michelin Blue 35 yeah. 28 degrees 66 watts We are slightly used 44 millimetre Michelin Blue so, 27 
37 degrees. 48 watts. If you got this far into the video, this information is either of interest or extreme use to you in your endeavours. Please consider giving back by sponsoring my channel. Follow the link below to buy me a coffee and buy me as many coffees as you think the information is worth. I purchased all these tyres with my own money with the exception of the Michelins which were kindly uh, loaned to me by Tim Corbett. Results table at the end. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one. Cheers!